Security. Well, a handful of people is spreading the idea on social media that the rollout of 5G cell towers is responsible for the COVID-19 epidemic. Some of the towers have even been set on fire in the UK. As our Victor Williams reports, it's having consequences here for people who are just out doing their jobs. Yeah, well, the fact that anyone would believe this theory is absolutely mind-blowing, and doctors everywhere are agreeing that these 5G towers have absolutely nothing to do with the spread of the coronavirus. Sadly, that belief is even being seen right here in the city of Detroit. Look at them. That's the big tower right there. It's a video that's been shared thousands of times on Facebook. Masks ain't gonna stop no radiation. Gloves ain't gonna stop no radiation. Showing a man on Detroit's west side questioning workers because he believes that 5G towers are to blame for the global pandemic. While we in the house, they out working. And they secret, they quiet, they know we on game. We gonna tear them down. Unfortunately, this theory has become somewhat of a popular belief on social media. Some YouTube videos falsely claim that there's a link between COVID-19 and the super fast wireless technology. Even our Dr. Frank McGeorge can attest, this hypothesis doesn't really make any sense. There is no link, none. It is just completely false. Mobile operators have even said vandals set fires to their towers in the UK because of these theories. Evidence that the false claims can do some major harm. Far-fetched conspiracy theories like this are really damaging because they undermine public health efforts to stop the spread of the virus by convincing some people that it's not the real problem. And other social media websites like Twitter are cracking down on the spread of this misinformation, hoping to filter out anything that mentions the coronavirus being the result of these 5G towers. Reporting this evening, Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor, ahead, local nurses trying to keep it together on the job and at home. Karen?